Look at this guy. What up, dude? He's working at the car wash? Usually I have Alex here this one's work. Chris's new job. I hate detailing. Really? Do you like cleaning cars? I like cleaning my cars. I don't. I don't like cleaning other people's cars. I don't like cleaning any. How much to clean my car? No. Five hundred dollars. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> some detailers charge way more than that. You give me five hundred bucks, dude. I'll go there right now. I'll some limp on some detailers charge thousands of dollars to like well, that, correct paint and things like that. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of like, work. Just cleaning a car sucks. I couldn't imagine like actual paint. paint yeah, and yeah. Buffing. It gets wild. People spend on, more money than they spend on paint. They'll spend on correction. Tommy. Yeah. Nine thousand dollar detail. That wasn't money. real, was it? I think it was real, but I don't think he had to pay for it. That's I crazy. I don't know. I wouldn't pay that much. I'll tell you that right now. Because I could just get Tommy the painter to do a perfect paint job for that. <laughs> yeah, right. And we'll be done with it. But I guess if you have, like, a all original paint, like, it adds value to the car because you never had to do anything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess so. But how's this thing running? It's running good. Yeah? Yeah. Trying to go test her out. Are you? Yeah, you know. Oh, man. I, I might have little, to stick around for that. Bit of auto crossing tonight. Okay. I don't know yet. My ankle actually feels really good shifting. I'm actually really surprised. It feels better shifting than walking. That's good. So, so you should just stay shifting and not yeah, so walking. Maybe I should just do only driving, no walking. Yeah, from now on. You think you can make a whole a video and go through the whole day without getting out of your car? <laughs> I mean, I could, but what would I do? Go get food. Go, go, like, do things, you know what I mean? 24-hour challenge? Yeah, 24-hour challenge. Sleep in the car, eat in the car. But I've already done 24-hour challenges yeah, and you, and driving you, across the country. And you've already pooped and peed in a bed, so you could do it in the car. I have. I, no, did I have to poop in the bed once? <laughs> I didn't poop in the bed once. <laughs> All right, well, you can go 24 hours without doing now, that. They, they said they can get me a um, bed pan. I was like, get me up. Okay. I got to get up. I, I would, too. I no way, no way. So. Well... We, you won't have to do that, that's for sure. In yeah. fact, I wouldn't really ever, ever ask you to set, spend 24 hours in your car. Or poop in the M2. Like, what, what, what kind of conversation is this? Where did, where did this start off? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just, I want to see the 0 to 60. What do you think it'll do? With the 195s? With just as it sits right here. Open four? No way. Dude, it's Spin City. Yeah, I think, I'll bet five and a half. Really? Yeah. What do you think with the MTO ones? Four and a half. Really? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, man. Yeah, I think so. I gotta see what the M2. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna hook great. I. I. This won't hook at all. No. So if you go under six, you're doing good with this. That's really? for sure. Yeah. My bet's five and a half. Five and a half. The top. You did four oh nine. Yes, yeah, so almost threes. Yeah. yeah. But this car is not as fast as the M2, is it? I mean. The M2, they say at the crank, makes, like, what, 400? This makes 385, so technically this should be faster. Power to weight. But, but the shifting. you can't. Mm. Yeah, the shifting's hard. The DCT's a little different, yeah. What's this guy doing? Look at that. There goes Peter in the Renly. About to crash over there. Jesus. This guy. Look how close you came to your truck, dude. God. I'm like waving. To, I'm I was waving talking to John. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my God. Well, I guess it wouldn't have hurt the truck, that's for sure. Well, yeah. It wouldn't have hurt the car either. <laughs> Probably not. You can't go 60 missing gears. Big truck. Marcus is ready. Got a S I T C H in this thing. S I T C H. S H I T. Oh my god. That Clearly, I'm not good at spelling. That was that was perfect. <laughs> so, Marcus's truck is a full-size big boy F250. 
with room for four in the back. You, you and, can almost uh, stand up in this thing. I'm saying it's big. This is a big boy truck. What's up with your red thing on there? I broke a lens on my on my camera I'm waiting for the new lens to come. Gotcha. But um, anyway, we're gonna do a little test with the draggy. I want to see what Marcus's truck's all about. He says it's he says it's up. He says he's got the flame tune in. So no, 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 no. I don't put that on. Want to see what uh what that's all about? So we're gonna go test it real quick. What do you guys think? Zero to sixty. I want to see. I want to see at least six seconds. I want to see at least six seconds. You, that got to warm it up a little. Bit. Uh, two wheel drive, by the way. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, we're not doing a boosted four wheel drive launch. So. No. Um, the, the good old boy does it in like low sixes, depending on traction. Traction is always a problem with these trucks. Yeah. So, uh, with a decent launch, I'd expect it's pretty similar because you've got pretty much everything done upgraded yeah. turbo, injectors, all the good stuff. So, yeah. this, this truck's not slow. It does rolling burnouts now from 40. Jesus. Maybe that's take a, go that's tough. Next door, get a little warmer. So. Okay, all right, we'll get a little heat in it and then we'll, we'll make yeah. it pull. All right, now we're gonna try again. This time, no brake boost, just flat foot it and go. And just ease into it, I guess. Yep. Okay. Hit it. Okay. 8.4. Eight you just you just don't get any traction. No. No. That's that's annoying. So as you can see, there was an absolutely no traction, so that was pretty much a waste. We'll see how she does four-wheel drive, and that was with a scooter in the back too. Good old boy. We're gonna go to the track. Let's see what these bad boys do. And they are lined up, ready to roll. Like what even was that? So here's Marcus and Chris. Let's see what they do. I'll probably challenge the winner of this race. Put in the comments who you think is going to win. I think uh, Marcus's truck is probably faster at this point, but Chris's truck. Probably more consistent. It's got a little more meat on the tires. Yeah. Oh yeah. Marcus got that one. Looks like sure. Marcus parked with that win. Got a little bit of hesitation there, mid. This is it, the moment we've been waiting for, the good old boy versus Marcus Parks, dude. Marcus's truck is pretty fast, man. I was not expecting to get walked by it. We beat him before, but that's it. There he is. Look at him. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Uh, been waiting for this race for 30 minutes now. What do you think, John? Good old boy or Marcus? Marcus. No, no, Jack's taking this all Okay, day. the 84 GMC won that round. I'll be seriously impressed if Marcus takes this, honestly. I think he might. I don't know, dude. Jack's got some... Jack's got wind. Jack's got some hood under that hood. <laughs> got hood under He's got that hood, you know? He's got that big hood. <laughs> Ooh, this is exciting. Oh shit. Here it is! Oh! Dude, I think Marcus took that! Marcus won. All right, that? the white. Right? What? You're right. <laughs> right lane won that round. Right lane. Jack won it. That was close, dude. That was too close. Dude, Marcus's truck is pretty fast. I talk shit, but it's fast. Jesus Christ, whatever whatever turbo they put in is is working. It's working great. 
What do you think? Yeah, I think you got me by a little. I got you! By a little. <laughs> Oh yeah. Race. What do you think? That was too close. You think so? I, I'll my tell you. was betting on you like far. Listen, I let off about three quarters of the way down. Hold up, this is this is Keith and Marcus, dude. Oh boy. We got a race. Keith, Keith's gonna win. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. Dude, Marcus's truck is fast though. It's fast, it. yeah. I didn't expect it at yeah. all. Oh, here we go. Keith and Marcus Parks. Won that. Wow. Wow. Not bad. No, well, I want to say something though. Huh. Marcus does not have nitrous. If Marcus had nitrous, it'd be pretty because he has nitrous. He has nitrous. I don't know he if he used nitrous. it or not. He said, no, he said he's spraying every run, so he had to. Okay. Alright, thank you. Hey, who won that last one? He that was so super close. It was close. It was, close. It was real close. Yeah, Marcus. They didn't announce it. No. They did it. It was real close. I think y'all had to run again, though, honestly. That was too close. I would. Yeah. Still let us. We'll go. Oh, you were the one? Yeah. So, Marcus, Marcus so and I ran. Yeah. I aged him out, but he ran heat from Locks DCE, yeah. and it was close. I've been letting off, but like, right in between. Off like, nitrous. Off, yeah. off nitrous. Let, yeah. let, let Marcus turn the bottle off. Make it fair. It was fair. He did not spray. <laughs> he sprayed every other. Well, no, you, you raced another person who didn't spray. I did, yeah. But uh, he didn't learn the golden rule, and that is spray no matter what. <laughs> Don't listen That's to the golden rule. everybody, right? Yeah. So, anyway, next time you're spraying. Oh. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. Which means, Marcus, you got to step your game up. Well, I'm not putting nitrous on a truck. What do you mean? Why? If he can run it, you can run it. I sprayed it all day long. And if she has a Mr. Big you're bulletproof. So is it he? I know. He lifted his head. You're good. So that's one of the reasons he's showing. Lift, lifted his head and he's still out here running. 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 All day. Running like a deer. That's what they say, right? Yeah. Okay. Do all the. Double trouble, baby. That's what I'm. I'm gonna get one of these next. You ready? I kind of want one. Let's do it. Hey, they do it with lawnmower tractors. Lawnmower tractor? Yeah. Like lawnmower tractor. Yes. Like like, we, like your wheel horse. Driving. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They do it with like a little sled. What do you put in it to make it do this? That's ten thousand pounds. No, but they don't pull that. They pull a smaller one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh look. There. Oh yeah. This is nice. Yeah. My buddy Mike actually. The tractors they're pulling here tonight is family owns a New Holland dealership up there in Chambersburg. They built multiple engines on a, several of the tractors you'll see run here tonight. He's the second generation in the tractor pulling business and we're going to see what that experience gives to him tonight as he makes his run. Sound good, folks. All right, here's the grand finale. We're just waiting for Chris, he's about to go. He's gonna make a pull. I was horribly unprepared. Kelly ran 290.76, 290.76. I don't have the, 70, the, hook or the point point or anything. Uh, so next up is Austin Nichols. And then hopefully Marcus. 
from and Bishop, then, uh, Georgia. Let's see what happens. You oh, ready? Man, Jack. This is, I don't do this shit, Jack. You're doing it. I don't do this. I'm shit myself. You've got this. You've got it. It's going to be great. This is more nerve wracking than the drag strip. No way. You got it. Oh, I'm going? Look at him full on slide. I don't know. He's just too much. Oh, Think he's gonna do good? We'll find out, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Chris is giving it. He's from right here in West Palm Beach. Not too bad. I think he made it past the 250 mark. We'll see what they say. I think that was past the 250 mark. Not bad. First try. Right now, we still have Austin Nichols. They said Nichols 285 In first feet. place with 285 coming up. Good job, Chris. Is Colby Shockley. All right. Now it's Marcus's turn. Let's He's getting he into this sport. Many of you local trucks have. Saw what fun these people can have doing this. I know it's the first time we're doing sled pulling down here, but just look at the fun you can have. It doesn't take much. Will Marcus make a full pull? I think he'll do better than Chris. Set. Somewhere around there. I think he did I think he did a little bit better than Chris. We'll see. Chris did what 285, right? 285. Okay, so we'll see what he did. Chris did 285. I think Marcus Marcus looks like he's he's right around the same area, honestly. A little we'll smoother, see. a little flop top. He was yeah, he was a little smoother. Surprisingly, I thought he was gonna rage it. 283.56. 283. So he lost to Chris by two feet. It's not bad. You did good. You think so? You did good. 285. I, did, I said I just wanted 200. Uh, you beat Marcus. By two feet. Two feet. You know, he might have beat me in the drag race, but good old in 2015 got her. You, you got know? it, yeah. Two feet. <laughs>